इट्स द बैटल बिटवीन टू ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट चेस प्लेयर्स ऑफ इंडिया करंटली विदित गुजराती ओपन द गेम विद वन ई फोर एंड प्रज्ञानंदा रिस्पॉन्स बैक विद द सॉलिड ई फाइव नाइट एफ थ्री नाइट सी सिक्स एंड वी हैव द रूई लोपेज ऑन द बोर्ड विद बिशप बी फाइव you can see prag blitzing out his moves with it thinking a little bit for his moves bishop b3 bishop b7 going for this aggressive perhaps arkhangles like setup d3 very solid by with it bishop c5 the bishop is developed on this very active diagonal now while black has put all of his pieces in active positions white has been a little bit mellow castles but this is all opening theory well known and you can see from prag's time he has 3 minutes and 5 seconds there's a 2 second increment per move with it trying to recollect his analysis here and he goes knight to c3 attacking the pawn on b5 prag goes knight a5 still within his prep he is telling with it that i'm happy to give up a pawn if i can get your important bishop and ruin your structure and with it now takes this and by the way queen a8 instantly played but perhaps that was not the best move bishop a8 is played more often but i think that was prag's preparation and you can see once again with it thinking here he says why don't i snatch this pawn this looks like a very juicy pawn and this often happens that you play the opening really quick and then you start thinking like for here pragnananda might suddenly be like okay something looks wrong here he goes b4 attacks the knight still showcasing confidence bishop moves back now with it is a clear pawn up but it's not like clear completely because he has these doubled pawns he goes bishop g5 now look at the threat to take the knight and to pick up the pawn on d7 so very important move for prag is now queen d8 but he blunders he goes rook d8 that is a big error the main reason now is that knight g4 is a very strong move you take you lose the bishop on e7 will with it find it he has 2 minutes on the clock and he finds it what a nice move by with it gujarati excellently played all of a sudden black is in huge trouble and this has happened because pragnananda blitzed out his opening and maybe he mixed up his move order he could have taken back with the bishop but he instead chose to take with the queen and now he's in big trouble his position is bad the only move that looks good here is to play knight d5 now it's a very surprising move because if you take the knight the bishop is hanging and if you take the bishop then the knight jumps back here but can prag find such a move he's taking his time he's gone below with it on time and this is also a great example of how you should not panic when your opponent is blitzing out his moves in the opening because if you play logical chess you will get back on time and pragnananda finds knight b5 that is something this boy is a big fighter even though he's landed up in a tough position he manages to find the best move here and now with it is thinking should he take here on e7 then knight e7 should he move his bishop back possible also very good would be to play queen c1 or queen d2 defending the bishop he plays queen c1 now why is queen c1 even better than queen d2 perhaps because it keeps an eye on the c7 pawn it's a very important thing there and now what does black do because if black takes here then the queen comes in and the queen is looking in this direction here it's trouble f6 played wow now if you take the knight he wants to take the bishop one idea can be to drop the bishop back to d2 the other one can be to go to h4 in fact going back to h4 very interesting and strong would be the best move here what does pragnananda decide sorry what does vidit decide now pragnananda has played f6 with it has 1 minute 14 seconds he goes bishop d2 which is not bad bishop h4 would have been stronger now for prag he has to move his knight away but where does he move because the knight hardly has any spots if you go to b6 i'll just take it even the c7 pawn is loose so it's not easy to decide to move this knight because the c7 pawn is hanging 
Prag now down to a minute on his clock. It's a two second increment per move. But it's already looking scary. One idea is to push this knight away with h5. The other one is to play f5 and he does it. He plays f5. And what is Prag saying is that if you take here, I will take on g4. But it's the best idea. He can take here, take here and then go and chop this pawn. And white is clearly better. But with it, may not want this bishop to get activated down this diagonal. And that's the reason why he's thinking here whether he should move his knight away. But when he moves his knight, black knight will get a square back on f6. With it does play knight e5, f e, t e. And now what? Because if you play knight back, there is queen c4 check and there is trouble down there. So the game of attack and counter attack has to continue. This knight is hanging but you may attack this knight and that's what Prag does. He attacks the knight and he tells with it that if you take my knight, I will take your knight. It's happening since quite some moves now. What a complex game this has been and to calculate all of this in 3 minutes, knight g4. Played by with it, a good move here. And Prague finally moves his knight away. Now, queen takes c7 is possible because you are attacking the bishop. He takes it. He takes on c7. And now for Prague, difficult situation. Should he take on e4? Should he take on g4? In fact, knight e4 is the best attacking this bishop here. Prague down to 17 seconds. He takes on g4. That's a mistake. With it is now winning clearly with queen takes e7. Prague goes rook e8. And now he can chop off this pawn here. Very strong, but with it does not. He plays queen g5. That is a mistake because now rook takes e4 is possible. Defending the knight and Prague finds it. Prague is back in the game. He's still worse, but he has his chances now. If you play f3, there are problems with this diagonal here and a check coming in. So you can't do that. He goes knight to b6, attacking the queen. Now, do you move the queen somewhere? Maybe you can. Yes, Prague is moving. Queen e8. That's a good move. With it comes back knight to c4 and rook d4 attacking here. Now rook e1 attacking the queen is the best. But with it is going to move his bishop. He takes here. Now Prag blunders with h6. His good move here was rook takes c4. And he would have been in the game with queen e4 in the air. Queen f5. Queen c6 threatening a mate here. But with it goes f3 very solid. Knight e5 played. And now bishop back to c3 amidst all this confusion and complications. With it, Gujarati has managed to get a winning position here. King h7, bishop takes, knight takes e5, good move. Queen c5 check, king moves back, he takes back. But if you see, white is already two pawns up. And now, getting rid of the back rank issues. Check, king h8, and he plays b4, solidifying the entire position. Rook e1 coming up, queen f4, Prague wants to exchange the queens, but that's just lost now. e takes f4 with it, you can see, playing so calmly, even though he has just 3 seconds on the clock. Rook e5, king g8, h4, trying to blockade those pawns with h5, g6 played, rook e6. Now if you play king h7, there is rook e8, that should be winning, takes, takes, and with it wins another pawn, check, takes on h4. And with this, with it, is three pawns up. Now fourth pawn bites the dust. Pragnananda is lost. And he's shaking his head there. His rook falls off, but this is just losing. With it, Gujarati manages to win this game. And Prag resigns. What a complicated game. And what calmly played by with it. Excellent chess there. And Prag really fought back. He had his chance. And the real critical moment actually came when... He had a chance here with bishop b4. You can see the players discussing. Rook takes c4 was a great move here because now after b takes c4, queen e4, there is just no way to stop this mate and white has to take a perpetual check. With it saying there, oh, it was so complicated and Prague also smiling there, which shows such great sportsmanship. Love the camaraderie between the Indian players. And you know the real love for chess rather than just trying to win the games they they want to analyze 
and uh, very nice bit of analysis there.